Yeah, the construction's gone very, very well. Very straightforward. Worked just as we had hoped. Um, we are going to have a full photovoltaic array and a wind generator. This building will produce energy. And it will be very interesting to see if it performs as well as our computer models show that it should. I'd say the biggest hanging question is, will this be something that the people will embrace? That's the biggest question. Will they like it? I think it will work uh, as far as a structure. It will work very, very well. I, I'm, I'm going to be really curious to see if we actually can heat this building on 100 and, uh, 110 gallons of fuel oil a year, which is what the model shows. You're talking about 90% energy reduction. The hope is, is that we can work with uh, a number of different communities up there to modify this house to fit their need and introduce the technology that we're trying to incorporate into it and build 40 homes in the next two years. Uh, but they'll be modified for particular villages, for particular soils, for particular subsistence lives and tastes mm -hmm. of the area. What we want to do, of course, is incorporate as much local material as possible. You're, you're really limited on material, and that's true of, of many of the North Slope villages. I mean, traditionally, they use whalebone and driftwood to create a framework, and then they would stack sod over the top of that, or skins and sod or whatever. So they used the materials that were at hand, and they, and they did work. But they didn't work nearly as well as, you know, um, more modern materials can work now. However, the principle of using as much as, as much as is, is available locally is something that we really have to do. Now the challenge, one of the challenges and exciting things to, to work on in the future is in this village relocation effort to look at using deconstructed materials to accomplish the same kind of uh, thermally efficient envelope and appropriate culturally appropriate architecture that we're doing here. You know, again, this was a training exercise. I think the technology is really good, what we're trying to incorporate in the building science. Um, and of course, we want to learn from this prototype how to make it better.